All right, Janelle Schaefer here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm really glad you're here today. It is April 4th. It is Easter Sunday, and I'm taking a hike on the Appalachian Trail. And uh, I knew I'd find some plants, and I, I found a little patch of uh, something I wanted to cover today, and it's uh, cleavers. So let's get started with the video, and I'm going to tell you about this wonderful spring tonic herb. Let's get started. get started I just want to ask you to hit the like button subscribe comment and hit the bell button and also hit uh, go check the descriptions down below I have a lot of great links I have three books I've written I have um, some links for Jake Ducey he has great mind uh, uh, he has great programs to change your mind change your thoughts and change your life and I really really like him so I have his links down below so um, yeah let's get started with the video okay so I have found a little patch of cleavers I'm in the woods now back at my house in the the sunny open areas there are a lot more cleavers growing so I'm gonna say cleavers like the Sun cleavers is they're also called bed straw and the thing is this will grow very big and get very bushy and you can literally pull out huge masses of it and make it into like bedding it's really nice and soft that way now let me just show you the the actual plant let's see if it's gonna focus for me so it has like a it has like a floret kind of look to it isn't that really neat? And it is a lot like purslane, but the difference is it has underneath, and it's hard to see because this is small yet, it didn't get big. It has little, little hairs and they grip together. So as this matures, it will stick together. And my kids last year, they, they made armor for themselves. They covered their whole bodies with it. Um, <laughs> it's really kind of cool. So this plant is not just good for bedding. I'm going to just pick up some more and turn this around. Okay. All right. There's, sorry. There's not much here. There's not as much as I would love to, to show you, but this plant is actually a lymphatic plant. It will move the lymph in the body. It will clean up the bloodstream. You can eat this. You can juice this. So, it does have this like um, furry kind of like grippy little hairs. So you don't really want to eat it raw. It's good if you steam it or cook it and you can also turn it into tea. This morning I made a tea with the cleavers, but probably the best way to get like that power is to juice it. And you can put it through a juicer or you can just blend it up with water in a blender and then strain the juice. But so many spring plants like dandelion cleavers are really great for that spring cleaning so every spring you're you're cleaning out your house well you're cleaning out your body too so um cleavers they grow in sunny areas in patches it will continue to grow all summer long into the fall and um i can just try a little bit a little bit fuzzy it's like a green taste a chlorophyll green taste so packed with vitamins great plant great spring cleaning plant um, like I said or like I do say in some of my other identification videos you want to kind of like have multiple ways of identifying get plant net that's an app I use I'll have a book listed below that you can get ask somebody who's good at identifying plants to help you identify um, watch some videos get really comfortable so I'm comfortable with these plants. I've collected them, used them many times. So you want to make sure you have the right thing and uh, are not misidentifying it. But cleavers, great plant, 
coming up right now. Go check it out.